I've always enjoyed helping people. I know for sure that's, that's my passion. That's just who I am. That's why I do the job that I do. And it's just an extension of that. And my, I think on a global scale, so sure my, my day job is to help the citizens of Bothell, but for me, it, it doesn't matter who's in trouble. If I have the skills to, to help, I, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go and do what I can. I think you go into a bit of a work mode, at least I do. So you kind of have to compartmentalize a little bit, the emotion set aside, because you are going down into someone's worst case scenario, most likely the worst day of their life. And when you set the emotion aside and just go in doing what you're trained to do, it's, it's not as difficult as you might imagine it to be. Uh, it's chaotic, typically. Uh, it's uncomfortable, usually. Yeah. But you know you're providing benefit. I think that's the biggest thing is you know you're going down, you're providing benefit, and sometimes it's as much as just being there in solidarity with folks who have just lost everything in their home or lost pets, lost loved ones, and just having someone else there while they're going through that crisis makes all the difference in the world. Uh, floodwaters are horrible, incredibly hazardous. Uh, you want to avoid them at all costs. That's one of the biggest things I've learned being in hurricanes, definitely avoid that. Um, it's hot, it's humid, typically the power is out so you don't have those creature comforts like air conditioning working, uh, you sweat a lot, you don't get a lot of sleep. <laughs> it's, it's anything but comfortable, but again, it's, it's rewarding. Yeah. We were involved in a rescue and we were down in Regalwood with the fire department down there. We were attached to a swift water rescue team, one of the Illinois task force. And a call came in that there was a car submerged. And so we jumped on the rigs, got suited up and went down. And by the time we got there, the car had driven around a barricade and had completely gone underwater. So uh, being part of the medical team, I was not in the water myself. The water rescue team went in and were able to extricate both the elderly female passenger and the male. She had completely gone underwater, so she was considered a near drowning. Um, got her medically stable, transported to the hospital. The gentleman also was transported, but he was more just because of the exposure to the floodwaters and precautionary, uh, but she was far more, far more critical.